Hi, I'm Chisum. I'm a software engineer in Seattle. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you what no one told me while I was a college student studying computer science. Being a computer science major can sometimes be very overwhelming because it's a very broad field and most people are unsure of what courses to focus on or what skill sets are necessary to succeed or land a job post-graduation. I myself felt that same way a few years ago. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be explaining some focus areas geared towards people that want to become a software engineer or a software developer in today's world. So before you get bored of my face, I'm going to start with the most important and most fundamental focus area, which is data structures and algorithms. Yes, I said that. <laughs> Think about building a house without a solid foundation. Data structures and algorithms is that foundation. And I really wish someone emphasized the importance of this to me while I was in college. Most technical interviews for software engineering roles will require a good knowledge of data structures and algorithms. And think about most complex software systems and applications. They all boil down to simple data structures and algorithms. You need to understand this topic well in any programming language of your choice and pick one or more if possible and try your best to be good at it. Believe it or not, a huge portion of my time as a software developer is spent writing design documents, attending meetings, and once in a while doing presentations. If you want to progress your software engineering career, you need the ability to communicate your ideas effectively to your teammates and colleagues. And to build this public speaking and you know writing skill, I recommend you take a technical writing and public speaking class. And if these classes are not available to you, try to you know pick up these skills using resources like YouTube. And one more thing I would like to add on is take a business or entrepreneurship related course. And I know this is more important for people who want to go ahead and become tech founders and CEOs or people who are more interested in the financial tech world. And even if that's not your goal in the future, it will, be, it will be help you to become a more balanced individual. Once you've learned one programming language, learn more. <laughs> there are foreign languages, for example, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and more back-end object-oriented languages like Java, Python, and C++. Java is good for Android development, and C++ would be more useful for an iOS developer. So think about this if you are trying to build more mobile-friendly apps. Most large companies deal with lots and lots of data, so I recommend at least taking one database management language. A popular one is SQL. SQL is very important for querying and manipulating databases. So I recommend take, you take your time and learn, learn a language like SQL. The software world is literally all about data. Each programming language has its pros and cons, but having a strong understanding in each of in each of these few categories I pointed out would be a good stepping stone to becoming a good software engineer. So one question most computer science students ask is, math really important? Is math really important? And if so, how much? To be honest, I haven't used a lot of math since I became a software engineer about one year ago, and I haven't used the differential, differential equation that I busted my head over and over for. And the little math I even need for my day-to-day -day job, I can easily like look it up on the internet. But depending on the part you want to take, and or how deep or applied your role would be, math might actually be very useful to you. There's a lot of intersection between software engineering and math. And in fact, software engineering is built from math. So I recommend you take math seriously if you're still unsure about the path you're going to take. Having an overall knowledge in computer architecture and operating systems is necessary to become a good software engineer. You don't want to graduate and be unable to explain how computers work on a high level to at least a toddler. So depending on what your exact job description is, you may need to know more or less of low-level computer, computer systems. And an individual working as an operating systems engineer would need to know more about all the low-level stuff compared to an engineer using, say, an Android game app. So once you've, you, know, you have your solid foundation, I recommend taking a specialized course 
to explore your interest. I know a few examples of popular ones are cyber security, AI and robotics, human computer interactions, or even management for people who want to go ahead and do more management stuff like product management and all that. But these are just a few and there is a whole bunch of specialty fields in CS. To wrap it up, being a software engineer is 70% theory and 80% experience. Having experience from internship, externship, personal projects would make it easier to land, make it easier for you to land a job post-graduation. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have additional tips that would be relevant to computer science students, please drop it in the comments below and feel free to hit that like button and share to your loved ones and subscribe if you're interested in similar content. Thank you.